Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom. It's been a long while since I sat down here and made a video and talked to folks out there. Wherever you're at, in the country, in the world, in the city, in town, rural town, countryside, up in the mountains, wherever you're at, I'm here to talk to you now. I've been working a lot, working these fingers here to the bone, got them calluses, uh, getting up early, day in, day out, hey, uh, making some productive, successful days, day in, day out. Hey, but we, uh, as people ask me here lately, several people have asked me lately about predictions for the year of 2022. Now, the year 2022, the inflation is going to be a major problem. Uh, they're even talking about higher wages. But the thing is, listen to this now, the inflation is outpacing the wages, even with the races. Hey, inflation has been going on for years now. We're really feeling it, the brunt of it right now, though, because, well, the supply chain is out of whack. The supply and demand is out of whack right now. So, I mean, if you, if you, even if you do get a raise, you know, you might get two, three, four dollar on the hour raise. But now, after you buy everything you need, pay the rent, the mortgage, the car note, buy the groceries. Pay the utilities, water, electric bills, cable bill, pay for the cell phone, pay for the food. After you buy everything you need for your homestead, that little bit of raise didn't go too very far. Because inflation done inflated the prices so high that the wages can't keep up. Can't keep up with it. So uh, be frugal this year. Don't do a lot of uh, spending out at the nightclub or uh, up at the bar or the pub or going out to eat at the restaurants or up at the concert or up at the stadium or the arenas and all this kind of stuff. Don't do all that. Cut down on those, those expenses, the entertainment uh, venues and stuff like this. You know, instead of going out on entertainment trips every other weekend or something like this try doing it maybe once every three or four months or something like that cut down on them expenses because you might need it you might need that money that you spend up at the stadium or the 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 venue or whatever whatever it is you're doing there the horse race or something like this or justin bieber's concert or whoever it is i don't know but um Try to save uh, the money that you blow at these concert halls and buy you some food at the grocery store. Hey, I went up here to buy my usual normal brand 20 pa 25 pound bag of rice. My normal brand wasn't there. It was out of stock. I asked them what happened. They said, oh, it's a supply chain. Um, having a hard time getting it in on, on, the, on orders, on the shipments. And stuff like this. So I had to ride all the way across town to another grocery store to find my brand of rice. Now instead of buying one bag, I bought three. Now, at the same time, I went to buy some can, canned beans. Hey, instead of just buying two cans of beans, I bought five. You know, hey, I better better get some food while I can. While I can still afford it. And why it's still on the store shelves. Because I don't know about where you live. But around here where I live. The store shelves are getting bare. The things that you look for. you know, The brands you normally buy for your family. Might not be there. You might have to go to two or three grocery stores. And scramble around. Trying to find a 25 pound bag of rice. Or something like this. This is absolutely insane. And the uh, small containers of milk that they used to have up at the workplace and the, and the vending machine and stuff. Used to have a milk company there that had white chocolate milk you could choose from. But now they, um, 
I don't know if there was a supply chain issue or what. They done done away with the milk. Now we have some uh, off-brand, uh, tastes like slim fast kind of milk. Really nasty taste to it. I don't drink it. I don't drink it at all. It costs more too. Hey, you might want to uh, stock up on the, the necessities, the food items, before we go up here and uh, go shopping spree at the mall and um, go hoot and holler for old Justin Beebe or somebody. Okay. Might want to cut down on those entertainment costs, out to eat and whining and dining. I'm telling you what, it's not hardly worth it. That inflation is here to stay. Those higher wages won't go too awfully far. Shalom. Shalom.